What's up, everybody? Steve Looney here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. This is episode number 20 of my new Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over the basics and different options you have with the different type tools in the program. So what we're first going to do is we're just going to scroll up here to our blank area so we can, you know, mess around with some things. And what we're first going to do is we're going to come up to the type tool. If you hover over, you're going to see T in parentheses. That is the keyboard command shortcut. Very important. You remember that. All right. So if we click and hold down, you're going to notice there are a bunch of other options. OK. And the only other one having a keyboard command shortcut would be the touch type tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this right here to pop this out so we can, you know, uh, easily access these. And with the type tool, we're going to do two different things. The first we are going to click. OK. And we're just going to type out the type tool and the only way to get out of this selection is you can either come up here to the arrow, okay, and you see it ends the selection, or while you're typing, here's my cursor blinking again, you hit escape. So remember that when you're doing stuff, you, you don't want to be clicking too many things. You want to be learning your keyboard command shortcuts. I will say this a thousand times, and I do throughout my videos, and I don't care if it gets annoying because you need to know this, and it's going to help you breeze through your layouts. When you stop looking at, you know, um, looking around to click things and you just start using your keyboard command shortcuts you'll be it's just like typing like you type without looking at the keyboard you design without looking at the keyboard so anyway the other thing you can do with the type tool again hit T on your keyboard to get to it is you're gonna click and hold down and you're gonna make a box whether it's a shape like this or like this okay and now you can type in this box I'm actually just gonna paste some dummy text that I had copied I'm gonna make this a smaller font size and we're gonna hit escape Okay, to end that selection again. And what's really cool about this is you can now take this box, all right, and you can start to mess with it, okay? All right, and now you can do stuff with the paragraph options. You can come in here, you can justify it, you can center it, write justify it, stuff like that. So another cool thing to show you is a lot of people will know this, but when it comes to transforming things, hitting E on your keyboard, you're gonna notice that the uh, transform tools pop up right here. But when you have this selected, you hit E on your keyboard, do you remember how when I stretched this out before it filled the box and didn't screw with the type? Well, in this case, it will screw with the type. Now, obviously, you don't want to do that. But what you can do is you can hold the corner, hold shift, and now you're scaling everything up proportionately without getting screwed up on the um, actual um, distortions of the letters. So we're going to back up. And again, remember, we go like this. It's going to screw it up. But if we hit escape, all right? And we come back to our regular arrow we can now open this up and have no issues at all the next option on the list is the type area type tool and what you can do is you can basically take an ellipse or any shape a star it doesn't really matter you're going to click this tool again and you're going to click okay you have to click on the actual path so you're going to click on the edge of the path and now again i'm going to paste my dummy text in and it's going to fill this area okay very cool right so it's you know it's like you can make cool infographics and icons and stuff like this so um as you make the text bigger it's obviously going to make sure that you do not go outside that area you know you can do this you can come into paragraph let's see if uh justifying all lines pushes it right to the edge you can now put a stroke on it and well oh, actually that's a stroke on the type right you'd have to make another circle to put a stroke around that but that's the area type tool we're going to delete that the next tool is the type on a path tool and it's one of the uh coolest tools to use um and i don't use it very often but when i do i'm always relieved that it's something that i can use and basically what we're going to do is we're going to again create an ellipse we can really do any type of path I'll show you after this. So we're going to click this tool right here because there's no keyboard command shortcut. You have to click the edge where that little squiggle goes on the uh, on the actual cursor. All right. And now you're going to start typing. Say the type tool. All right. The type. I'm going to do it twice. Why not? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bit larger. We're going to hit escape. All right. Again, to end our selection. And you're going to hit A on the keyboard, your direct selection, which is right up here. Okay. And you can do some fun things in here. There's one, two, three lines sticking out of the piece. 
So you want to mess around and see what happens with these lines. Um, it actually will push it around. Um, you're going to notice, well, why would I want my type upside down? Maybe I want it in the circle. So I believe what you could do is you could grab this one right here. Yep. And you pull it up. So you click, hold down, you pull it up. And now it actually brings your type inside the circle, which is really cool. And what you would now do is here's just a quick tidbit. Command R. You pull a rule. All right. All right. So you see where my L is on tool at the right and then the T on the. They're not really lining up. So we're going to turn on our guides. We're going to hit A on our keyboard and pull that back just a little bit. And now we have type that is pretty much aligned up. So what's really cool now is you can hit A on your keyboard. And you see that point right there? That's a point that you can manipulate. So we're just going to click and marquee that point. We're going to, oh, excuse me, let me do that again. All right, there we go. Hold shift and click the point, excuse me. And now we can pull this up and we can mess around with this type on the path and you see how it really doesn't distort the type it might distort the spacing between the letters which is understandable but even if you take you know the pen tool and you do some like you know funkiness right here again you can type on a path all right all right hit escape so that's a pretty cool tool um i've used it actually a lot with like t-shirt designs i've done basic stuff but now the next three tools are basically the same thing instead of the type tool you have the vertical type tool instead of the area type tool you have the vertical area and same thing vertical line on a path tool you can experiment with those now with the very last tool touch type tool it's shift plus t on your keyboard i don't use this very often but what's cool about it is we have this line of type right here and now we can click individual letters within there okay so you're going to click the letter okay and you can you really have to experiment and see what it actually does. So like you can take, say I take the Y that's in the middle of everything. You can scale that up, right? Okay. And now you can take the P and you can move that over. So you can move that down a little bit. So it still keeps like the words together, but it, you know, it allows you to, you know, move this up apart without having your type outlined yet. So basically what happened is this Y can turn to a Z now because it's not outlined. So we hit escape. Normally, okay, I'm going to back up. It's important to tell you this because of why you would want to use that tool and definitely experiment is if I go to shift command O, all right, creating outlines, or you can come up to type create outlines here. You're going to notice now by hitting the direct selection and your keyboard, I can move certain things. I can hit the T, I can hit E on my keyboard to transform, and I can move it up. But you know, it's much easier to do it with that other tool. So that is the type tool basics. Um, you know, when you're, if you're doing logo design um, and really even more so if you're doing layout design, print layouts and web banners, and you're going to use typography so much that you need to know this stuff, uh, especially with, um, you know, uh, you know, going on the paths and, and, and just putting stuff in boxes and knowing how to transform your boxes correctly because you don't want to be stretching type out. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what your thoughts are of this series, of things you want me to cover in the future. If you want to shout out and say, hey, congratulations on your 20th video in the series, you can do that also. And I will see you all for the next video. My name is Steve Looney from graphicdesignertips.com. I hope you have a wonderful night. Peace.